in with Madison. Hey there! Are you ready to hear a story? Journey to the Bright Side, written by Kimberly Hirsch and illustrated by Ramesh Ram. Life doesn't seem fair to Pickles the Porcupine. Why do I have to share my toys with my sister? He whines. I don't want to take a bath. Evergreen leaves for dinner again? Stop being so grumbly, Mom finally says. Instead of complaining, I wish you'd look for the bright side. Where is the bright side? asks Pickles. It's out there somewhere and it will be up to you to find it. Mom always knows best, so Pickles sets off to search for the bright side. After a while, Pickles arrives at a tall mountain. He meets a tortoise named Tank. Is this the bright side? Pickles asks. Tank looks around. Bright side? Oh no, he answers slowly, as tortoises always do. But I've been there and it's dazzling. What's it like on the bright side? Pickles asks. It will make you happy even when you're sad. That's how you will know you have found the bright side, says Tank. It's out there somewhere, but you will need to find it for yourself. Pickles clenches his fists as he follows the path. He continues on, finally arriving at a grassy hill. He meets a shy mayfly named Maisie, hiding behind a golden daffodil. Is this the bright side? This must be it, Pickles shouts. Maisie peeks out from behind the bright yellow petals. This is not the bright side, but I was there this morning and it's delightful. What's it like? Pickles asks. Oh, you will feel peaceful even when you're upset. That's how you know you found the bright side says Maisie, flying out into the sunshine. It's out there somewhere, so you must keep searching. Pickles stomps in the dirt as he follows the path. Soon he arrives at an oversized pile of rocks. He meets a snake named Sebastian. Is this the bright side? Please tell me it is, begs Pickles. Sebastian hisses. Bright side? No, but I've been there before and it's glistening. What's it like? asks Pickles. It will make you feel loved even when you're grumpy. That is how you know you're on the bright side. It's out there somewhere, but it's up to you to find it. Pickles huffs as he follows the path, all the way to the other side of the rocks. What he sees is not what he expects. Oh no, he says. The bright side is supposed to be here. Pickles digs through the rocks. He doesn't find what he's looking for. But he does find a glistening rock with silver specks. My sister will think this is cool. He slips the rock in his backpack, and his heart feels happy. Pickle splashes in a nearby pond. There is no bright side here, he says with a sigh. But he does find the moon as dazzling as can be, glowing back at him from the water. It reminds him of late night swims and floating on his back with dad. And his mind feels peaceful. Pickles peers behind a row of evergreen trees. He still doesn't find what he's looking for, but he does get a delightful whiff of evergreen in his nose. It reminds him of his mom's yummy evergreen soup. He smiles, remembering the feel of the warm soup in his belly, and he feels love for his family. When Pickles arrives home later that evening, he tells his family about his journey. I didn't find the bright side, he says, but look! He hands his sister the special rock he found. He tells his family of his late night swim in the moonlight. They smile as they eat their evergreen soup. Sounds like you had a wonderful journey, says mom. I did, but I am happy to be home now. They hug each other tightly. It seems that the bright side has been found after all by a young porcupine who isn't so grumbly anymore. The end. Okay, thumbs up if you enjoyed the book. Nice! If you would like to purchase this book for your at-home library, you can click on the link in the description box below to support the talented authors, illustrators, and publishers. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more read-alouds, do some science experiments, watch videos about letters and numbers, and do some really fun arts and crafts projects with me. I'll see you next time! Bye! Thanks for watching!